it's Mo. So today I wanted to do for you a sort of like fall, everyday fall, get ready with me. Um, I'm using some of my winter, my winter, my November makeup basket for this. Most notably, some things that I love being the Wet n Wild palette in Smoke and Melrose that was released for the fall 2014. This has been one of my favorite palettes to go to. I've also been loving using the e.l.f. Mineral Blushes. Um, this is the shade Jet Setter. And I've also been loving using the, oh no! Oh no, I'm so disappointed. Do you see what just happened? Oh my god, the e.l.f. Mineral Bronzer and Tan Toffee, it just poured all over the floor. How did that even happen? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to see if I can repress this now. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Now I have a doggy under me. Um, oh, that's not food. Don't eat it. Stop. Oh, man. I guess we're going to learn how to press stuff. Don't eat that, puppy. Okay, guys, I am not even going to lie to you. I am filming this in my pajamas. It is, I don't know where my phone is, but it's like 6, 6 or 7 o'clock at night. And I wanted to film a like fall foundation, not fall foundation routine, but like a fall makeup routine or like my go-to makeup for fall because I really wanted to get back into this YouTube game and just full swing do everything. But I usually, I have been priming my face. I'm not going to prime my face with it in this tutorial because I don't want to waste it, but it is the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection and I am so nearly done with this and I, I'm going to, I'm going to have to pick it up because if you watch my monthly makeup basket, I talked about using this and I have it over here I talked about using the boots makeup base and I don't I don't quite like it um I thought I did like it but I don't like it with the foundation that I'm using I much prefer this um a second to this is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro the 01 I'm sorry the 02 shade so I'm gonna use that to prime today because I don't want to waste my black radiance on just a little small video here so I just take a little bit on my fingers and sort of put it all over my face. Obviously you know how to do primer. And so I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge and the I'll Make Clear Complexion in the shade Buff, 200 Buff. So it's been snowing here and I don't quite like it. So I'm probably uh, fast forwarding through this right now and I'm also probably shaking the screen and there's like a dirt spot on the wall. Wonderful. I feel like I live in like crazy town right now. I hope this isn't looking too weird from the lighting. I have like a soft box here and then I have other lights here and there I'm being crazy. So I'm just going to focus on doing my makeup. I like this foundation because it seems to be pretty matte and it blends really easily it seems to be medium coverage for me it does have like 0.6 percent salicylic acid so it's probably not good for going up this close to my eyeballs but I haven't had any like adverse reactions to it so but I'm hoping you can see it's like really really matte but, so i'm just gonna highlight and i'm using the l'oreal the sorry i thought the door hoping the l'oreal lumi what is this l'oreal dream lumi touch thing and you just click it up um i recently did a video it should be up by now on concealers and in it, I talked about my favorite concealers and using concealers to highlight and concealers to conceal and concealers to correct. So here's my ghost face. <laughs> 
for doing just the foundation and concealer under the eyes, sort of some highlighting. I'm sorry, I'm kind of looking in the viewfinder too. Um, so there's that. I'm going to set under my eyes and I'm going to set my makeup before I do my concealer because I think that this, um, the Hidden Agenda palette, really you can conceal after you've added some powder and it kind of makes it stay around longer. So to set my under eyes, I'm actually going to use this e.l.f. What is this? Eye brightener in the shade Buff. It's just a little sifter kind of dupe. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just going to swirl some around in the cap and I'm going to tap it off and set my eye concealer. And I set over my eye too because you don't want to have any of that like sticky um, concealer that you ran over your um, lids, sort of messing with your shadows. There's also a really nice setting powder in this little square here of the Sony Kashuk palette. I use that sometimes. I've been using that recently because this was in like another place and I couldn't find it, but then I found it. And so I've been changing, I guess, between the two. And then I'm going to set my foundation with this Mary Kay um, translucent loose powder. I got this in an influencer box box and I will link that unboxing down below. I'm sorry if the gum is really annoying, but I'm chewing gum. So, and I just tap some into the top there. And I use my powder brush from Real Techniques. And I'm sorry if you can see powder flying everywhere. That's just how it goes. So I just pounce this all over my face. Blend it. This foundation is like a really good color for my skin right now. But I do use my powder to sort of buff the color down onto my neck. I feel like... That's a shadow. I did put makeup there. So we'll do that. And then on my little spots, like down here, I use this. This gum is annoying. On the little spots down here, I do use um, the top quadrant here to sort of just tap and conceal. This is a perfect shade for my skin right now, too. I think that this Hidden Agenda palette really brings up the coverage of this foundation. So if you have... I don't know if you can hear the dog. So if you have any other like spots you want to conceal on your face after using that foundation, I totally think that the Hidden Agenda palette like amps up. Obviously it's a concealer, but it amps up any sort of like um, foundation that you have coverage wise because it blends so nicely, especially after putting powder on. I'm going back and forth between this, which is Tan Toffee, the Press Mineral Bronzer from e.l.f. and Tan Toffee, and my Hoola Bronzer. I think I'm going to use this today because I really just wanted to mention this to you guys. This is the only matte color. This is the least orange and least dark color. I will eventually have swatches and everything on the blog, and I'll talk about it, but I just, I love the color of this, the way it looks on my skin. It does kick up a bit of powder, like I'm going to tap this over here, you're probably still going to see powder going everywhere. But. And I just do like a little bit of, I'm not really like a bronzer, like contouring professional. But you can see that added a little bit of something to my cheeks and then I do just take it down here and this brush I'm using is really dirty but it's also from a set on Amazon that had like 22 or some odd brushes in it and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a blush brush or not but I really love it for contouring and sort of bronzing because it's just the perfect like 
base for my cheekbones. So. so that added a little bit of something. And for blush, I also have two that I've been going to, and I can't really decide. I think I'm going to use Jet Setter, but they're the e.l.f. Mineral, oh, this one's backwards, Press Mineral Blushes as well. This one is the shade Jet Setter, and then this one is the shade Wonderless. So Jet Setter and Wonderless. You can see they're kind of the same. This one is more peachy, and this one's more like mauve berry color. I think I'm going to use Jet Setter. Um, for right now and I use my Real Techniques blush brush. Everyone's blush brushes look huge. Mine looks normal like I could use it for blush so I don't know. I don't know. Every time I watch videos I'm like why is your blush brush so huge? Say that three times fast. Blush brush. Blush brush. Blush brush. Blush brush. Mmm -hmm. sound like Dr. Seuss. So. And then if I think I'm looking crazy, I'll take my powder blush, powder blush, powder brush, and just blend everything out. I like to put, with the shape of my face, I don't know, for me, I feel like I like to put my blush back further and not so much on the apples of my cheeks. So I kind of position it like back here where the darkest color is. Um, I don't start here. I kind of start right here and then blend it forward but that's just me. So now that the blush and bronzer are done, I'm going to do some eye priming. And for this look, I'm going to use this Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil and Almond Cream. I'm just gonna use that as a base all over my lids. And I just blend it out with my finger. So the palette I'm going to use is one of my favorites from the fall. It is the Wet n Wild Smoke, whoa, Smoke and Melrose palette. I love the rosy tones of this. If you have the Naked 3 palette, if you have the Revealed 2 palette, if you have any sort of rosy gold shades, I would say even like the Lorac Unzipped palette you might be able to pull from to do this. Um, it's just going to be like a rosy gold kind of look. Um, the shades here, there are some shimmers and there are some mattes. Like you can see this crease color has like a gold reflex in it. So I'm just going to use that. I have, where is it at? Okay. So on my IT Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta, I'm going to use the number 105. It's just a fluffy blending brush. It's really soft and blendable. And I'm going to take the, the shade labeled Brow Bone, and I'm just going to work that in my crease, kind of paying attention to the outer corner here for the most part. And then I, I'm going to bring it all over my lid too, but the initial application is going to be all up in the crease. And we're going to build that up later too. And then using just a flat little shader brush, I'm going to take this color, I believe... What was, I think it was labeled base. So I'm gonna take the base color, all about that base, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And I'm not being like super precise with it because I just wanna get that wash of color, that base down. Um, then I'm going to take on that same shader brush, the crease color at the bottom that has that sort of like gold reflexiveness in it. I'm gonna put that just on the center of my eye, I don't know what that noise was, just on the center of my eye. And then I'm also going to work it out to the outer part of my eyelid. But I want to build it up on the center of my lid. And then I have another little blending brush here that is from Mirabella. It's the Mirabella Eye Blender. I think it was in an Ipsy bag at one point. I believe my best friend gave this to me because she didn't really need it or want it. But I am, I will use that to blend out some things here shortly, but I'm going to go back with that um, It Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to take the eyeliner shade, or I'm sorry, eyelid shade. I'm going to pounce my brush in there. Do you see all that powder fly away? 
And I'm just going to put that sort of on the outer, what you would call maybe the outer V, I don't know, the outer corner. And then I'm going to also kind of work it up into the crease, but staying, whoa, staying on that one outer one third of my eye. And it's just going to add like a little bit of definition to the look, but not like so much. Like you could, after this, you could stop here. I like to deepen it up a little bit more. Um, by using the final, so I used all five shades in this palette by using the final definer shade and I just get that on the very, very tip and sort of dust it off and then only pounce that on the outer corner there. Let's see if I got fallout. On the outer corner and making sure to really keep that color concentrated there. And if I need to blend out, I take a clean blending brush. This is that Mirabella Eye Blender and I just blend a little bit more. And then I'm also going to take the It Cosmetics one more time and sort of go over the top part of my crease and sort of like feather it out. And I will go back in with the brow bone shade, the brow bone shade, just lightly and take that up above my crease and sort of feather it out. Like that. And if I feel like it's kind of crazy, like I'm hoping it's coming off okay, I'll just go back in with that Mirabilla blender there and take care of it. I feel like my eyeballs look funny <laughs> because I have two different kinds of lights going on. So, but there is that. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows and then we'll do a little bit of highlighting with the um, Milani eyeshadow here. I'm sorry, the Milani eye, what is this? Shadow eyes eyeshadow? I guess it is an eyeshadow that I used as a base. I'm actually using the Milani Easy Brow in Natural Taupe. It has a spoolie on one end. It's kind of dirty. And on the other end is the actual pencil. So let me put the caps back on so I don't get confused. I don't do a lot of like crazy filling in. I just sort of lay them out. And I like to darken them up to match the darkness of my hair. Obviously, I actually, I don't know if obviously you can tell. My hair is purple. And... I'm not going to fill my eyebrows in purple because I think that's kind of ridiculous. But I am going to deepen them up because I think it looks a lot better. I don't do too much shaping. I just do a little bit of filling in. And my eyebrows are definitely cousins today. <laughs> and not, they're not even sisters. They're maybe like distant cousins. And I do some more placement. And then I use the Milani Brow Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I really like this because, one, because the little brush is so small, but also because the tube isn't clear and I can't see how gross it's getting from getting my foundation in it. So I just run that through. Whoa, a little bit. And I will occasionally, I don't necessarily do it all the time, but for the sake of this, I'll just take a little bit and run it there. Not really for like definition, but just for a little bit of a highlight. The dog's over there stretching like a crazy person. Actually, I need to go get my curler. Where is it? So we can use this one. I actually got a new one. This one's kind of crap. So we'll see my eyelashes fall out when I curl my lashes. I just do a little curl. And I'm not going to apply any false lashes because I haven't been doing that recently, but I am going to use the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is just a little sample. I actually really do love this mascara. I want to get the full size, but I hear people say that the full size isn't like the sample size. I also need to get my setting spray 
But first we'll do highlighting. I totally forgot about that. So the highlighter I've been loving to use is a limited edition thing from the summer. It is the Rev the Revlon, the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection 2 Reflect Shimmer Palette in Video Bomb. And it's a really pretty, just peachy, shimmery kind of thing. And I use my e.l.f. blush brush. Can you imagine putting on blush with that? And I just sort of dip it in there and tap it off and just run it over my cheekbones. I do some on the bridge of my nose, but just really on my cheekbones. Can you see that glow? Ah, uh, and then I'll go back over it with this. Like, isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. So let me get my setting spray. And I use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And I don't follow the directions. I soak my face in it. Let me make sure I have something to fan my face with. So to get rid of like the powdery look that I feel like I get sometimes, I just spray the heck out of my face. Then I take something to fan it so it doesn't ruin my makeup. Oh, that was hard to do and talk at the same time. And my makeup stays all day. It takes away some of the like powderiness, I feel like, of the powder products, obviously, that I'm using on my face. I don't know. I just really like it like that. My hair is going crazy. I'm in my jam pajamas. I don't care. Um, and so on to lips, I'm going to do the quintessential thing that's popular right now, the 90s lip, the Kylie Jenner lip, the whatever you want to call it, the super popular trendy fall 2014 lip. And this is a really, really affordable way to do that. First, I'm going to take the mineral lip liner from e.l.f. in the shade Raisin, and I'm going to line and fill in my lips. So let's see, I hope you can see me. I'm going to it down a bit. I'm not going to zoom in. I don't know. So I just do that. Fill my lips in. Then I take the e.l.f. matte lip color in Praline. Which is like a deeper nude. I think I mixed it with something so it has something else on it. I take that and I go over it. Duh. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoy. This is just what I've been doing. I don't know. This is just what I've been doing um, every day pretty much for work. I have been loving using those two lip products together, e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Praline and the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in Raisin. I think they are, it's like a really affordable way to do this kind of lip, lip thing going on. And I actually had raise I'm sorry I've actually had praline for a long long time and I never really used it because I didn't think I liked it and now that I've used it I realized that I do kind of like it especially with this lip liner so I hope you enjoyed this video if you would please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more if you want to you can read more on my blog it's 516thblog.com you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram I am so active on Instagram it's ridiculous it's at 516 I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later bye